Good afternoon, I'm Ross Little from ATOS, the project manager for developing the ABC for EU systems. Here we have developed the mobile app for ABC for EU and I'll run through the European scenario. So here we swipe my British passport. Now we read the RFID. It's reading the facial image just now in data group 2. It continues to do passive authentication against a central database located in the police systems. So here you see my passport data. More of the data held in the passport. And on the final screen we see the passive authentication that was carried out. So in the remote database they had the CSA certificate which they checked against the digital signer certificate found in the passport which did a cryptographic hash with all the data there to prove that it hadn't been modified and it's valid, valid data. The final check here was a verification of the MRZ um, that was read from the passport optically and that is stored in the chip. Okay, so we continue. So now we're going to um, check the the passport in the Argos database. So when I say Argos database, it's uh, actually the Argos police system which connects to national databases and the Central European um, Schengen information system to see if there is any alert or if the passport has been stolen, etc. Okay, here we have a possible positivo, the error message below saying that actually the document hasn't been consulted whatsoever and the default response in the pre-production system is a, is a hit with possible positivo. The normal scenario would be um, when there's no um, hit found, um, would be tomorrow detision and um, no possible positivo wouldn't be shown. So tomorrow detision means that the bodyguard says to allow or deny entry and here we are allowing entry. Okay, and we finish the process.